AVC, what's up? Charlie here. Um, I got a pretty big stack right here. This is over the past couple days. Um, went to several different places and got some really cool stuff. So, just get right to that, I guess. All right, this first one I actually found at a thrift shop for a dollar, so I was very impressed about that. It was the Dave Brubeck Quartet, and this is music from West Side Story and other other works. I'm a pretty good Dave Brubeck fan, really good jazz guy. Next two, these were both each a dollar, and these are just great condition for their age. It's Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass and this is go Going Places. Very nice copy. Not split on the ends, any or anything. It's just beautiful. Only a little bit of ring wear right up the top. Next is SRO by Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass. This one's still even in the shrink wrap. So very beautiful full condition. The vinyl on these two are both mint as well. So really happy to get these. Next is some prog stuff. So very happy about this stuff. Now this album, Dark Side of the Mood, who doesn't have this album? I already have a copy of this album, but it is the English pressing. And I had to get another one because... Well, that's the spine. My English one doesn't have the writing on the spine. It's just nothing written on it. But the reason I wanted to get another copy is because when it gets to the saxophone solo in Money, it just starts skipping like crazy. So, and this one is beautiful. Just mint condition vinyl. Also came with a nice polyline sleeve. So that was really cool. And this is an album I've been looking for for a while, and it's pre it's a pretty cheap one, but it's not like uh, Asia's first album, and you'll just every time you go to the record store they'll have one. So I've been looking for. I'll probably get another one of these eventually, but it's GTR, and this is a super group, prog super group. Right, the only people I know in this are Steve Howe and Steve Atkins which are the two guitars. I'm not really familiar with the other three guys. There they are. And the vinyl is really great on this. It's just, it's got a, some pretty bad, bad ring wear on it, which I'd like to get a really good copy of this one. Just because when you find it, it's pretty cheap. Next one, very excited to find. It's Green Slade, Spyglass Guest. And this is a phenomenal album just a great all-around prog album it's beautiful condition the vinyl on this is just mint it's on mercury and I'm really looking forward to get the uh, getting the other green slate albums pretty big fan of theirs just hard to find hard to come by albums Greenslade was a band formed by uh, Dave Greenslade, I believe is his name, which came from Coliseum, left Coliseum and formed this band. Great band. And if the other, most of the artworks are, two of the artworks are by Roger Dean. This one's not, but the first two, I believe, are, and they're just beautiful covers. Everything Roger Dean does is beautiful. Next is a, another prog band. Fire Ballet. This is a pretty obscure album, and it it's actually really good. And it's just called The Night on Bald Mountain. And the cool thing about this album is I didn't notice this until after I bought it, but the producer is actually Ian McDonald, which was on the first King Crimson album in the Port of the Crimson King, which is right up there. One of my favorite albums of all time, which is my favorite band of all time. It's the insert right there. And the drummer is actually the lead vocalist in this band. Very cool album. It's, it's got like 
It's got five songs on it. And one is 10 minutes, one is 20 minutes. Just real good stuff. Alright, this, this band I've been really getting into lately. And this is what's playing. It's 10cc. How dare you? This band is phenomenal. Anything these guys have done so far, I think, is just great. And this is the last album. Well, cool thing about this one is uh, I went into a record store today and the guy actually gave this one to me for free. So it's cool. But anyway, uh, this, this album was the last album to feature all four members of 10CC. Um, after this album, uh, Godly and Cream left the band and created this monstrous album, which I happen to got, get today. It's Consequences. And this is just about the most tripped out, weirdest album I've probably heard in my life. If you haven't heard this album, it's it's a trip. It's pretty crazy. This is just a beautiful, beautiful mint copy. Person even left the actual sticker that's on it, but it comes with a booklet and three discs. It's triple album, and it is crazy. It is weird, weird stuff. They did a bunch of real experimental things in the studio for the, for this. It's pretty pretty hard to come by, but if you ever find it, it's it's worth getting. It's just weird. It's just weird. And the guys that stayed in TCC, uh, Graham. Goldman and Eric Stewart, they made this album, and this is the album that actually got me into 10CC. This album is just five stars in my book. Every song is just so good, and I love the artwork on it. It's called Deceptive Bins. There it is, and a cool thing about the song, I Bought a Flat Guitar Tutor. It's a very short song, but it's very clever. What it is, is the they sing the lyrics like at By the Sea, something. that's just a real simple analogy, and they'll play a C, and it's like diminished, they'll say diminished and major and minor all on the song, and they'll be playing the actual chord that they're saying, and it's really cool. It's really, 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 really clever. So, very good art, art rock band that everyone should get into. Very great musicianship in this band. Next, I already had this one. That's an upgrade copy, even though it's not the best upgrade. I'll probably end up getting another one of these, but my other one was just completely destroyed and it's Burned by Deep Purple. Probably my favorite Deep Purple album. It is just so good. Every song is just great. Not to offend any of the Ian Gillian fans, but Ian Gillian did a great job in Deep Purple, but Burn is probably my favorite album by Deep Purple. Next set, uh, album, put it on a little bit of this. It's pretty good. It's hard, hard rock. It's Gamma 1. It's it's a little bit experimental. It's it's got some weird vocal effects in some of the songs, but it's pretty good. It's worth a try. I got it for fifty cents. So what the heck? next one? This album I've been looking for forever. Probably since real close to the time I started collecting, but I could never find a good price one. And this one was five dollars. Probably gonna get another one of these, but. This one will suit me for right now. And Sir Elastic Pillow by Jefferson Airplane, my favorite album by them, probably their best album. And the thing that I, the reason why I want to get another one of these is because this disc is one of the most flimsiest things I've ever seen in my life. It's just so flimsy, you can even hear it. But the RCA Victor label, they just they were just cheap on their vinyl because I got a couple other albums 
on that label that are just thin as paper. So there's that. Next one, upgrade copy, Billy Squire, motions in motion. Nothing much to see here. And last one, I got a couple of his albums a uh, couple videos back and weren't bad, so I found another one for a dollar, real cheap albums. It's Burton Cummings. He's the lead singer of the Guess Who. And once again, I found another promo copy of his. Another one of my albums I have by him is promo, and it's just mint, mint vinyl. So it's for a dollar. It's pretty good music. It'd be probably an album I play every every six months or so, but it's not bad. So that's all I got. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.